Right, so for figure two in the pre-release material, you can see you've got an OS maps. You are bound to get some questions around map work. Now that could be based on um, six figure grid reference, four figure measuring distance, direction, or describing the relief or the area of a land. Now we're gonna go straight into some of these questions. We're not saying that these are guaranteed questions. It could be very different on the day of the exam. But as you can see, one of the first questions I've got here is what's a six figure good reference for the actual incinerator? So if you look at your one over here, um, you should be looking at it in your own document uh, in front of you. Obviously on a, on a screen, it's very different and it's not very accurate. So we've got four, eight, going all along first. So it's in this box, four, eight, about eight. And then we've got going up six, eight, and it's probably about nine, it's touching the line over there. So I've got four, eight, eight, six, eight, nine. Practice these on your own, please. Then you get these direction questions. We have direction questions. This one is asking you, what is the direction from, um, from, always starting where it says from, the junction north of Cambridge. You're probably thinking, what is a junction? Junction is a meeting point of two roads. So here we've got like this roundabout, one road meeting another one. This junction north of Cambridge, so that's Cambridge, just north is the junction. From there, going up to the incinerator, but it's not exactly a straight line, so it's northeast. Okay, what is the direction of the incinerator from the station in Water Beach? So very quickly, you'll find Water Beach. Now, a lot of students not sure what a station looks like um, on a map symbol. So it's always usually the pink circle. So you see a pink circle there. That is the station. So from there, where is it? Let's go up and it's more towards where. So it's northwest. Okay. Another question you, you can potentially get is describe the relief of the land around the incinerator. So describe what the, what it's like, how uh, what the relief is like. What is relief? Relief is, let us say, the steepness of the land. So we already know from class that it's not very steep at all. We've identified that. But again, you need to be able to say that the land is very flat. The contour lines are very far apart. There's like one or two contour lines and it says about 10 meters. Okay, and then there is a spot height of four meters. So can you see on your map just above the incinerator on the right side, we've got a number four there. That is a spot height saying that it's only four meters above sea level. So make sure you say and actually give evidence. Um, a distance question, again, it could be from anything from the incinerator or from this place to that place anywhere. What is the distance from the new town? Okay, built on the barracks. If you look carefully, where it says Water Beach, just above it says site of new town on former barracks. From there, okay, and it says from there, go to the incinerator, measure that. So you'll have to obviously measure it with your ruler. Now, because the scale on this is a one to 50,000, you divide it by two. So I've got 4.9 centimeters divided by two. I've got four, 2.45 kilometers, okay? Depending if they tell you to round it or not, please be aware of that. Easy ones like this, take two, uh, let's say, tourist features on the OS map. Tourist symbols are usually anything in, let's say, a light blue colour. We've got the Milton National, sorry, Milton County Park. I can't really say, you need to look at a new one. Milton County Park I've got, and obviously over here is like a little caravan uh, and a camping site, but you need to look at what it is and not just guess what it is. So that symbol, and it will tell you on the key on your map that it is a um, camping site. So these are two. Um, and then something a bit different there. What's the benefit of the incinerator uh, on this site? Use some evidence. So what are the benefits? What can you say are the benefits of it? First of all, there's an existing road. Can you see this green road? It's an A10 road. So that's a good thing. Uh, A10 as a benefit, making the area accessible. Also, Two kilometers from Water Beach. Water Beach is the nearest residential area. So a lot of pe people live here, but actually this thing's gonna be there. So it's not too, um, it's actually two kilometers is, is, is a safe distance. Imagine it was right next to it. Okay, it might be some issues there, especially if you're going to be burning waste. Right, so the video you saw earlier were little one marker, two marker ones. You could get actually something bigger. You could get a four. I doubt you'll get a six based on map work. So have a look at this question. Explain why the proposed site for the energy, let's say uh, energy from waste, EFW incinerator. So in other words, explain why the site, this area, 
or the incinerator is a good location. Like you have to be able to pick, pick out certain things from this map and then explain it why it's actually a good location. So I've done this for you just in case it comes up. So important that you make these notes just in case and remember the answers and the points made. So in, I've got three points. So for a four marker, you could try and shove all of these in. But let's go into it. First of all, it's a good location because it's, um, there is a, the distance from residence isn't like too far. So I'll, I'll go into what I mean by that. So it's a good location because it's five kilometers. So you see where Cambridge is over here. It's actually five kilometers, okay? Uh, and two kilometers from Water Beach. And that's a good thing. And I'll tell you why. Having it close by will mean shorter distance to travel, okay? So if I want to get rid of some waste, I don't have to travel too far to go to my local site waste management site so that's a good thing in, t in the sense that it's more convenient if i want to get rid of something so it's quite easy okay that's one point you could easily develop that so use evidence and then explain then you could also argue that actually there's good transport links a good location this site because of good uh, easy like transport links remember we said about this a10 mention that there's an a10 road making the area more accessible so A10 easily connects to Cambridge, we know that, but also it can easily connect to London. But this, why is this good? Because it's easier for locals now to travel and dispose of their waste. Um, and you could also say that actually people that live further out or from other areas can easily bring in their waste. And lastly, you must, must mention that actually... This area is a good site because the first of all, the land is very flat. We know that. So what's so good about that? So having a flat landscape is good. So it's a good location because the area is pretty flat. That makes it that makes it very easy to build on. Imagine it was really tall uh, on a hilly area. It's going to be very hard. So that's good. Also, area north of incinerator has a spot height. Mention that there's a spot height. Use evidence. And you could also argue that also the land is already a waste management site. So remember, this incinerator is not just being built in the middle of nowhere. It's already on an area where there is other waste management service uh, services going on there. So they are building it on an existing site. So there's no need to expand. Um, and you're just going to build it in, this, in, in an area on that site. And therefore, that's a good thing because it doesn't threaten residents or any form of, let's say, green spaces and habitats. Right, this, uh, another extract from figure two, which talks about the, let's say, proposed energy from the waste incinerator, gives you quite a bit of information. Again, I don't know if this will come up, but you just never know. But it just says, using figure two, what are some of the economic and environmental benefits? And explain them, like, is it going to be good? And you just have to argue a few points. So environmentally, what could you say, guys? You need to look carefully and figure a few things out. It says a lot of the 80% of the waste is currently going to landfill sites, but actually it could just be burnt at the incinerator. So you could say, well, it could, we could definitely avoid landfills and that's a lot worse. And therefore, again, same arguments I've, says, I've said before, less air pollution, uh, it won't contaminate the soil and water as, as much. And that, therefore, that's a huge positive environmentally. There's another thing here about how a lot of the waste is going to be uh, from this incinerator, it's going to be monitored by the environmental agency. So what's so good about that? Stay at that point. If you monitor pollution levels, it will limit the actual damage it will have on the environment. Okay, so they could limit um, the amount of CO2 that is being emitted. And therefore, that could you could make further links about climate change. I've got one more um, environmental point, which is the site already exists. If you look carefully over here, it says Amy already has a hundred, 162 hectare waste management park where they do recycling, biological treatment. So what you need to argue is that actually um, the environmental aspect positive on it is that actually they're just going to be building on the same space. So they, you won't have lots of green spaces lost and therefore limited construction work and therefore, you know, less airborne dust and stuff like that. Economically, guys, you could easily argue, look at some of the points over here. We've got over 300 jobs created in construction. Uh, uh, you know, taxes will be paid. You could talk about the wages, uh, you know, increasing tax revenues, multiplier effect, improving services. But also remember, it's operational phases. It, it, operational phases, meaning it's not just, oh yeah, I've done the job, I can, I've, I've now don't have a job. It's people that has have to actually run the center. So there's long-term jobs as well. Another economic point is that actually 63,000 homes 
uh, will be now powered by electricity. Why is that good? It could lower bills, but ultimately it could it's reducing the energy demand so saving costs we therefore could save costs in the sense as though if you know we could uh, reduce kind of the need for imports improve our energy security so there's so many aspects